<laughs> never way too much fun, aren't you? <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. Get in in there! Oh. Oh, I'm stuck! <laughs> welcome back to another episode and welcome to the NRMA Umina Beach Holiday Park. How you going mate? Oh, I'm past now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're currently on one of those double go-karts and Zach's just been a little champ and using his legs. So this is an awesome park, especially if you have kids. So highly recommend coming here. There is two pools, two spas. There is a water park for the little ones. There's also a kids play area and two jumping pillows. You can hire one of these bad boys uh, for $16 for 45 minutes, or if you're an NRMA member, it is $10. They also have single go-karts as well. So just behind me here, they have a Bear Grylls Academy. That's for the kids and it teaches them survival skills. There is a fire pit, some climbing ropes and things like that. So definitely check this out if you're staying here. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's cool. It's good for young kids. <laughs> Thanks for that. No, no <laughs> beep, beep, duckies. Oh, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> So there's loads of different sites here. So we're going to take you to check out the best powered grass sites. Stay tuned. <laughs> so one of the best powered grass sites are sites one to seven. They offer ocean views and they also run along the creek. As you can see, Belinda's now driving because I'm unfit and old. <laughs> also a large variety of cabins here. There's something for everyone. Glamping tents, uh, spa villas, and... Oh, my legs are killing. Two twenty one and two twenty seven are also powered grass sites. They are double astro turf and fully level. They are really nice sites if you're after a grass tent site. There's a large variety of cabins, something for everyone here, ranging from one bedroom to family villas, glamping tents, terraces. Um, there's also gum nut spa villas. So there's a very large variety if you're into cabins. Make sure you come and check this out. I am, I really am. Take them on for the team? Yeah, that's it. So site 186 to 190 are the more level in this area. They are close to the pool, amenity block, water park, and they have an awesome big barbecue area for, the, for a family gathering. Burger wants you to speak. I know. My pick of the whole site would be from areas 186 to 190 for young families, just as you've got the memory box close, 
the pool and the splash park, so families wanting to wind down, it's probably the best spot to be. Good boy. There you go. They also have pet friendly ensuite sites. The best pick of those are P2 and P3. They are drive through level sites. So, definitely, if you're after pet friendly, these ensuite sites are better than all of the regular pet friendly sites, also. You agree with that? Yeah, great. It's probably the one of the best. Easy drive through, park up. All of the other pet friendly sites are all relatively similar except for the one that we are on, 404. It is a little bit different and really hard to get into. There is a fire hydrant and tap in the way, making it really hard to back into the site. I ended up parking on top of the middle slab as the slab that you're supposed to park on is on a bit of a lean. So it was just easier in a motorhome to back onto the center slab. If you're in a caravan, it would be super hard to get to where you're supposed to be. There's also another site, 404A. For the life of me, I don't know how you'd get in there. If you get assigned that site, I'd probably pack up and just go home. I wouldn't even bother because I, I'm not sure how you would even get into there. 404 does have a large area in between the site and the amenity block. So if you have a caravan that doesn't have a shower and a toilet, 404 would be a really good pick for pet friendly because it's right next to the amenity block. There's also a little barbecue area adjacent to that. They also have multi-purpose sites here. So they are full AstroTurf and they are for motorhomes, caravans, tents, pretty much anything. They have hitch points that you can attach, um, what would you call them, guide ropes? Yeah, yeah tie down your, all your annexes and stuff like that so you don't have pegs falling out. So they also have normal ensuite sites. So some come with an astro setup and the others are a slab. Yeah, so coming, uh, so you're turning down the street, the left hand side is going to be slabbed and your right hand side is going to be all astro and slab. They look like decent sites and they are level. In terms of the park facility, there's lots of things to do here. There are two pools with spas attached to both of those. There is a kids water splash park. There's also a cafe kiosk shop. In there you can get barista made coffee, fresh baked cakes. There's also a range of little items if you forgot anything in there, as well as drinks, ice creams. They do have gelato also. There's two half tennis courts. There is this cool little kids activity area. In there, there is a basketball court. They run theater plays. They have loads of activities for kids in there. There's also a arcade area with lots of games. In terms of location, the park is directly opposite your minor beach. Your minor beach is fully pet friendly. Your minor has everything you sort of want and need in the town center. It is a 20 minute walk into town or a five minute drive. In there you have Coles, Woolworths and Aldi, as well as loads of bars, shops and eateries in there. This is an awesome park. There is something for everyone here, whether you want cabins, glamping tents, glamtainers, if you're wanting pet friendly sites, ensuite sites, or multi-use. Loads of full grass, full astro turf, slab sites. There's something here for everyone. This is a massive park and we're super impressed and enjoyed our stay here. So definitely come down here if you're on the central coast and stay at the NRMA Umina Holiday Park. Thank you.